Hi, I'm Phoebe Holt Rice, and I'm a senior at CHS. And I'm Lila Gold, and I'm a junior at CHS. We're here as representatives of the CHS Student Council to give you a tour of Columbia High School. We normally do these in person for alumni, but this year, because we're virtual, we decided to do virtual tours for both 8th and 9th graders and alumni. CHS was featured in the Encyclopedia Britannica in 1929 as a model high school. It was even featured in the 2017 Architectural Digest list of most beautiful public high schools in each state and the top 20 most beautiful public high schools in America. The school was founded in 1885, but the current building was not built until the 1920s. This is the lobby or the main entrance to the school. On the ceiling, there are zodiac signs. And on the floor, as you can see, they originally misspelled the word Excelsior and had to replace the S. In the lobby, people come into school and exit the school. And there's also, when we're in person, this is where students help hold bake sales and other types of sales as members of clubs. We're currently in the A-Wing, and you can always tell because of the acorns on the wall. This wing is the original building. The C-Wing was built next, and the B-Wing and D-Wings were constructed to handle the baby boom following World War II. And here is the auditorium. This is the auditorium. The, audi the auditorium can hold 1,100 people, including the balcony, and has a Skinner organ which is underneath the black box on the left. Um, only a few high schools in the US have a Skinner organ. The auditorium was recently refurbished under the guidance of the Achieve program, led by Janet Crane, Diane Simon, and Deborah Prince. Here in the auditorium is the school music program, the musical, um, and the concerts are also held here. And we'll talk more about those later. Here is the main office. We have one principal and four vice principals who help lead the school. Over here is the athletic director's office. And here is the Damaretti Art Gallery. It was dedicated to the former art supervisor, Joseph Damaretti, and the math supervisor, John Woodbury. So there are still a few pieces up from last year um, because we obviously left kind of all of a sudden. Um, so it looks like this is from Miss Dodd's art class. And yeah, so this is where we showcase student artwork. It typically looks a little bit nicer because we've got the lights on, but um, yeah, so this is the art gallery. So we are now in the B-Wing and over here on our right is the guidance office. And so if you ever need help scheduling classes, talk to your guidance counselor, you'd find them in here. Um, and when you go in, there's the secretary, Liz Petrosha, and she's ready to help you. All right. So next up on our tour, is the TV studio. And we happen to have our own CCN crew with us right now. Great group of people. Um, so the TV studio operates a cable station under the direction of Mr. Camp and Ms. Kamina. And the facility is used for editing, producing, and transmitting programs, including the CCN News. So the TV studio has been empty for a few months, um, but essentially we typically have TV production classes right here and down the hall. Um, and yeah, this is the TV studio. Over here is the nurse's office where students can go to get checked up on, they can go if they're sick and need to go home, all sorts of things. This is the West Gym. There's also an East Gym over there and locker rooms in between. Today, we still use the old gyms for many of our classes, but when the school was first built, they were separated into boys and girls classes by the different gyms. 
So we're now going to go back into the B-Way. Um, so this is a stairwell that essentially connects the A-Wing um, going vertically with the B-Wing going horizontally. Um, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of a mind trick when you first like go through. <laughs> So if you're going through the A-Wing, where if you're on the first floor and you want to get to the second floor, you go up those stairs. Um, but if you want to get to the B-Wing from the A-Wing, then you would walk through. Um, and this is the courtyard. We have an outdoor garden here. And then you walk down these stairs. So this is the TV studio as well. Just a fun fact. This is actually the room that Um, And then when we continue down here, um, we're going to hit some science classrooms. And the B-Wing is mostly science classes, but there's also offices um, and I think a language arts class as well. So we are going to take a stop into one of the science classes. Um, so we're going to be taking a stop into AP Bio. Um, it's Miss Biasuki's room, I believe. All right. So this is one of CHS's many science classrooms. Um, and I'll let Lyle take it from here. This is Miss Biasucci's room, B118. Um, there's plenty of science teachers. So this is just an example of one of the classrooms. As you can see, there are different uh, types of things used for science classes. There are different sinks, all sorts of things that are needed for uh, AP sciences and their lab periods. And here is actually AP Bio and Environmental Studies. Um, and typically, there are animals in here. However, um, no one's been in the building. So they went home. All right. So this is a stairwell in the B-Wing. Um, and if you are in a B-Wing during a fire drill, you'd exit out here. We are now on the second floor. Heading to the library. Um, and right here is the gender neutral restroom. Um, not sure why it's this faculty restroom, but it is the gender neutral restroom for students. This is one of the entrances to the library. This entrance is actually usually closed, but we're going to go in this way. The library runs many different programs. Um, the, the MAC Minority Achievement Community is run through here by Ms. Hicks. Um, people come for classes to do homework, to print stuff out. It's a really great resource for all students. So there's also the SLAM tutoring lab, which is right there. Um, and so this year, the way that it was done was essentially um, you could come during your gym class once a week and you can get help with math or um, another topic. There are also printers. <laughs> Let's see if we can find one. Um, so there's typically... Yeah, so here's one right here. So during lunch, you're able to come in here and do work, and you can use these printers. All right. Um, and this, this library actually opened in September 
So it's these are the most Hamid. recent ones right here. Like it's the Hazmi Hamid, Kisa Butler, SZA, all these people. Zach Braff. By. Zach Braff. All these people stopped by and visited students and then got inducted into our Hall of Fame. All right, so we're now going to head over to the pool. So although the pool is on the first floor, um, the pool balcony is on the second. And so the pool has been closed for a while now. Um, it's been closed for at least five years. Um, and so the CHS swim team now practices at the Boys and Girls Club um, in Union. Where are you going? Yeah, in Union. Um, and yeah, so it's currently not in use. So obviously it hasn't been used in years and years. Um, and it just kind of sits here in the middle of Columbia. It's a little unclear what's going to happen with it, but some people have proposed turning it into classroom spaces or even revamping it as a pool. So that's a little bit unlikely uh, just because we don't necessarily have the funds right now. And this is the original pool from when the school was first built. We're now going to head to the sea wing, which forms a kind of C behind the A wing. Um, we're going to go visit the music classrooms, um, and then we're going to go down to see the main gym. As you can see from this sign, this is the entrance to the ceiling from the A-Wing. You can also see the difference in the architecture. One other thing to know about the ceiling, as we just figured out, is that it's kind of in between floors. So like, this is the second floor ceiling, but we were just on the second floor A-Wing, and we had to go down. So, right here, we have our band room. And then right over here, we have our chorus room. Um, so band is led by Mr. Bauer. He also has several after-school programs, um, including jazz band, marching band. Um, and then with chorus, um, there is the unaccompanied minors and Noteworthy, which is led by Okena. So now we're gonna head over, oh, actually, this is our music technology lab. Um, so we did recently hire a fourth music teacher um, and they teach music technology um, and that would be in here. And then there's also the other class that's offered is um, AP Music Theory and they're all kind of offered in the same general vicinity. So we have now gone back upstairs, but we are still in the second floor ceiling. Um, so just a like quick note, um, if you are an eighth grader or a ninth grader watching this, so you're gonna get a class like room number. Um, and the first letter is gonna tell you which wing it's in. And then the first number is gonna tell you which floor it's on. So this says C223, which means it's C-Wing, which is the one that's behind the A-Wing, and it's on the second floor. Um, this is the orchestra room, where classes like uh, string orchestra, masterworks, and virtuosi are run, as well as different after-school programs and different, um, uh, different groups of students like get together for like quartets and quintets, stuff like that. We're now going to go down to the first floor of the sea wing. All right, so we're now on the first floor of the sea wing. So right there is a health classroom. Um, here's an office, um, the wrestling room. And when you go right down this hall, So this is the dance studio. This is where special dance meets. Um, they have a show every year. They do various other um, shows across, I think, the state. 
So then we reach the back door of the girls' locker room. Um, so in the locker rooms is where uh, students are able to keep their stuff during gym and between gym classes um, and change in there. So this is the girls' locker room. Um, we're gonna go past the boys' locker room as well. This is also one of the gym classrooms. Uh, there's a plenty of different gym electives. Um, in here you could take fitness, you could take team games, all sorts of stuff. And also some gym classes happen outside and then some happen in, the, in each uh, individual gym. So here is one of the entrances to the boys' locker room. Here are multiple entrances to our main gym, which is through here. You can also see our courtyard over there. All right, um, so we are now in the main gym. The main gym has new flooring. Um, it also has new lights and new banners. So you can see the banners along the wall here. Um, and it, this is also new. So it did not have the Columbia logo before. Um, yeah, and so the main gym is where gym classes take place as well as various sporting events um, and school events like homecoming. You can also see some of the student achievements with trophies over here and all the way over there. And there's the Athletic Hall of Fame. So this was, we were just in the sea wing, this is the first part of the sea wing. Now we're going to go down to the D wing where the cafeteria and the Black Box Theater are. Um, so this is the back hallway to get into the cafeteria. Um, and here is the entrance to the cafeteria right here on the right. Um, so right now, all the PPE is being stored in the cafeteria, um, but typically there would be lunch tables here. This is the old part of the cafeteria, and then the new part is on the other side, which we'll walk into. Um, so if you're ever buying lunch, you can buy lunch right here. Um, or you also have the ability to go off campus to purchase lunch, so that's a cool feature. Well, as you can see from the signs, there's many different lunch options, so there's something for everyone. And then there's also uh, different vending machines over there that a lot of students like to utilize. Um, another thing is that the cafeteria is used as a cafeteria, but it's sometimes used for school events as well, like class meetings or other dance type stuff, stuff like that. So as you can see, there would normally be tables filling this entire room. Over there, that's the entrance that um, People exit to to go get lunch outside of school. So we are currently in the ground floor of the D wing. Um, I personally call it the basement just because that makes more sense. Um, so we have a few of the bathrooms over here, um, and then right down the hall. Um, so right here we have the weight room. There are gym classes in there. So as you can see, this is D118. As Phoebe talked about before, um, the, f the letter determines what section of the school you're in. So we're currently in the D wing, which stems off from the A wing. It's one long, one long hallway. Um, but you can tell that this is the basement because it's only two numbers. And there's, so there would be a zero before because it's the ground floor. Um, but if we were on a different floor, it could say D118, D218, or D318. Um, and then right here is the black box. We are now in the black box theater. Um, as you can see, it's a lot smaller than the auditorium, so some classes utilize it, um, and some teachers utilize it, some clubs utilize it uh, to have like movie nights and different events. Some clubs meet in here. Um, it's also the home of our school's Parnassian Society, 
and they're an acting group who put on a lot of different plays in here, and the, uh, the fall play is always in here, done by the Parnassian Society. So we're, now we're gonna head outside to Ritzer Field. So we are now on Ritzer Field. Um, and so on Ritzer, various gym classes take place. Yes, even in the winter. Um, and there are also sports teams who practice here. So I think the, uh, the track team practices outside. And there's also like fire drills, evacuation drills, a lot of that happens out here, obviously. Um, and then one thing to note is that these big structures and the rock climbing wall, that's part of one of the gym classes actually that's open to many students um, and it's called Project Adventure. So that's one of the gym electives that we have. Thank you everyone for coming to our virtual tours. We really want to thank Miss Amy Singer and Miss Elizabeth Petrosha for helping coordinate the virtual tour and making sure that all the rooms were open for us. Um, we also want to thank Mr. Sanchez and the admin team for all of their help with this. Um, and lastly, we want to thank Mr. Camp and the CCN crew. Uh, right here with us, we have Ogena Aredu, Raina Hirsch, and Hannah Winters. So thank you all so, so much for all your help, and we hope to see you next time. Hello, it's Columbia High School Principal Frank Sanchez. Thank you so much for watching the virtual tour. And thank you to our students who did an incredible job filming, editing, and starring in this Columbia High School production. We thank um, all of them and I can't wait for the freshmen to come in in about a month and of course you eighth graders to come in next year. Thank you and have a great day.